What do you think about finance? What if one of America's greatest geniuses taught you everything he knew about why it is important to invest in yourself? Would you be willing to learn? Would you want to know his secrets? Katie and Connor are in the library of Benjamin Franklin. They are in for a valuable lesson. Holy smokes, what are you kids doing in here? How did you get here? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Franklin. We were using our time machine and thought we'd pay a visit. Well, I wouldn't mind company. Sorry about the mess, though, kids. Well, what is that? What are you working on? Well, <laughs> just a little side project. I'm a scientist, you see. I work with new inventions and experiments. We thought that you were just the founding father of the United States. Yes, I am one of the founding fathers. However, I use my time to learn all I can about everything. I write books, I create inventions, I also try to make the world a better place. But doesn't that tire you out? You don't even have any games in your home. What do you do all day? Well, I work. I also study in my library. I try to learn all I can today so that I can be prepared for tomorrow. Remember, kids, one today is worth two tomorrows. Mr. Benjamin Franklin, sir, can you tell us more about yourself? Can you teach us to be like you? Of course, young lady. With hard work, anyone can achieve anything. The key is to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself? What do you mean? What I mean is that you should work to improve yourself today for a better tomorrow. You mean you work all day? Yes, and I try to help everyone. Remember that sloth, like rust, consumes faster than labor wears, while a used key is always bright. Laziness might be an easy way out, but it destroys all <laughs> efforts. Constantly working hard is what it's all about. But isn't that super hard? Well, yes, but there are no gains without pain. What I have achieved is entirely because of the work I do. Someday people will use my inventions and make their lives easier. To me, that's worth it. Have something to do tomorrow, do it today, is what I always say. But is it really that important to bury yourself in books all the time? Well, young man, what we learn now makes our lives easier tomorrow. Think of how you learned to read or write. Didn't that make your life easier? It definitely did, Mr. Franklin. Indeed it did. That is why I believe an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. What do you mean by pays the best interest, Mr. Franklin? Think of interest as something extra you get after some sacrifice. When you invest in something worthwhile, you will earn back everything you invested. Interest is the icing on the cake. It is like a bonus you get from making a wise decision. Speaking of wise decisions, let me show you something. Do you see that cherry tree? I had some money left over, and I used it to plant this tree. Why didn't you use that money to buy something delicious, like candy? <laughs> I thought the same thing when I was your age. Later, I learned that spending our money on what matters is better. It's good that you're helping yourself. We learned in school that God helps those who help themselves. Right you are, young lady. It won't be long before this tree bears fruit, and then we will be able to feed the people of Philadelphia cherry pies. Yes, Mr. Franklin. It seems to make sense now. I will do better to invest in myself from now on. That is great to hear, young man. But sometimes we need to do more than just that. 
Investing in yourself is all about making your tomorrow better. Take care of your health and read books in the library. Save your money for what is essential. Investing in yourself will make everything easier in the future. Yes, I see now. It's the secret to my life. It's how I'm able to do so much. I help my friends who are trying to create a new country, and I also write books to make everyone's lives better. I can do all that because I have been working on myself. The eye of a master will do more work than both his hands. I also use my mind to think critically and learn to serve my fellow men and women better. You mean, if you can do that, we can too? Why, yes, of course. In fact, I've written a book about all the lessons I taught you. I'm still thinking of what to call it. Mr. Benjamin Franklin, how about The Way to Wealth? That's genius. I love it. The title of my book shall be The Way to Wealth. Here we go. It's finished. Wow, can we keep it? We can learn a lot from it. Of course, young man. Think of it as a gift from Benjamin Franklin himself to great kids like you. Thank you, sir. Why, you're all welcome. Now that, would you look at the time? I need to get to bed. It's past my bedtime. But it's only 8 p.m. 8 p.m. means late, young man. Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. So that's my final lesson for you two. But I like staying up late. You might enjoy it for the moment, but it makes getting up in the morning even harder, doesn't it? Because sleeping early to make your tomorrow better helps your health and gives you more energy to conquer your day. Thanks for all of the lessons, Mr. Benjamin Franklin. You all are most welcome. Visit me again when you want to learn more about investing in yourself. Goodbye. We sure will, sir. Goodbye. This was a wonderful opportunity for the kids. They learned some important lessons from one of the greatest men in history. Hopefully, Benjamin Franklin's lessons about the importance of investing in yourself were fun for you. Connor and Katie want to start investing in themselves from now on.